we had an awesome start yesterday we were hooking along today is <laughs> not a good day Delicious salad. Mm. My favorite food, salad. All right, so I've got the boat in reverse. All is reeling in a big fish. But we're running out of daylight as well. We've got to get in to our anchorage and we've nearly 5.30 to the summer set soon. Now our anchorage is just in there between those two mountains. So we're already like tight for time and now we've got this big fish on. So you know it could be dinner. We got the boat in reverse. Oh Ollie reckons Mahi Mahi. No way! That is! Yeah. Woo! Good on ya! Woo! Oh. Got some fun. Oh. Hold, hold this. You got it? Yeah, I've got it, trust me. Oh, no, no. Woo, mahi, mahi! That's a cracker! <laughs> Good on you, Holly! <laughs> you! Woohoo! Just caught a cracker, mahi, mahi! <laughs> it just tripped over too. <laughs> How are we going with it? Not looking good. Sun is about there. Has that much to go? We are here and have that much to go. Just working out the maths. And I think we're gonna be going in when it's dark. I think so. Come on Paradise, you can make it. Sun is setting, look at that. And we still have about five nautical miles to go. Goodbye sunlight, hello darkness. So we just anchored and we're both really stressed out. We are coming through and it was dark and then as soon as we sort of got between the two mountains the wind picked up to about 20 knots and the tide was ripping out <clears throat> so the boat was kind of just all over the place and then Lana was on the front with the torch. And I'd go to the port side and there'd just be a big giant rock sticking out of the water and we're like, fuck, starve it, to the starve it. Yeah, it's pretty scary. And like there was so Don't much mist in the air, so even when you're shining the spotlight, like it's, for me it was hard to see. And then <clears throat> we tried one anchorage, but we didn't like it. We were getting oh, blown around close. Like, all around us, so there was just big bombies. So we moved to another one, but this one is kind of, it's only, we're sitting in four and a half meters now, yeah, so but it's almost low tide, so we'll just keep an eye on it and then we'll move in the morning. We're not gonna get much sleep tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. it's really hard to know your surroundings when it's dark, so it's just so nerve wracking. <laughs> it was, I'd never ever wanna experience that again, that was, that was horrible. <laughs> Go through in the daylight. Yeah, definitely go through in the daylight. Ollie never got a chance to fillet the fish before because we had a bit on. Fucking out, it's a bit big, <laughs> bigger than the uh, filleting oh. table. There's a squid. Ollie yeah. was filleting the fish and um, he lost his filleting knife over the boat. So he went down with the dive torch because the water's like crystal clear. But he couldn't see anything, so now he's tying a float, so in the morning he can have a look at the float. 
Last night when we came in, we just kind of dropped anchor. We were pretty close to the shore. We were freaking out a bit and we set the anchor alarm. And we actually woke up about, about 4.30 and the anchor alarm was going off. So we started to drag. Um, so we had to change anchor. And then we dragged another two times after that. So it was just all coral underneath us. So we, um, we found this one little patch of sand where we've anchored now and we haven't moved. So we think we'll be all right here. And the wind's backed off as well. It was really howling this morning. But yeah, we're gonna go for a dive now. He's gonna go find his um, filleting knife that he lost last night. <laughs> We noticed nothing touched the fish frame. Ollie dove down and grabbed it and we put it on the beach to lure some dragons out. And now we wait. Take an ice cream. <laughs> we put them in the freezer and they turn into slush. So good. I want to see how this chocolate Cream liqueur taste in my coconut. Oh, that's amazing. How's it taste? It's a bit of cake on the flesh in there. Wow, it's good. So, that's the new dessert. <laughs> mm. We were just on our way to go for a dive. And Lana forgot to put the GoPro battery in. So we came back and we just saw the um, where we'd left the dragon bait and there's a dragon on it, which is awesome. So we're gonna go try and have a look. So cool, we can see a dragon on the beach this year. He's eating the carcass. He's dragged it up. He's dragged the carcass up, now he's eating it on top of the hill. dragon We just full sniffed the air and then started walking towards us. <laughs> He's chasing us. <laughs> Holy shit. Boy, he's really sucking us hard. Fuck, they're not scared at all. No, he thinks we're food, I think. <laughs> we fed you. We're the hand that fed you. Be kind. He lives to tell this tale. I think he must be digesting that giant fish carcass. <laughs> That was so freaky though, I can't believe he like came all the way down to the he shoreline. The yeah, he, he chased us off. How <laughs> clear that water is. We're gonna go check out that white sand beach. So we um we pulled up to go for a dive and um we just seen these four dragons lazing on the beach, so pretty cool, we're like really close to them. But I feel safe because the water's here and they haven't near us yet. I think they reckon we're going to feed them so I'm not sure if some of the, um, the tour groups come in and feed them. Ali's going for another dive. Nice to
seen some dragons, so everything that we wanted to do, we've achieved in one day. Whew. How beautiful is that? It's been an absolute banger of a day. We've just uh, done so much today. Whew. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Sailing on Paradise. Um, if you really like it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more wonderful adventures to come. Uh, we are currently in Longbox, so if you want to see what we're up to now, you can check out our Instagram, Sailing on Paradise. I realize this is paradise.